Alright, so now I just have to take and uh, blend the two forms together so that they can move within the, the limits. Object transform, origin to geometry. So I, I blended the arm. Now I gotta blend it into the shoulder a little bit. So you can see there's a there's a lot to um, designing one of these, and uh, because it's low res too, it doesn't help. Okay, sculpt. So I'm just trying to get a happy medium here. At this point, I know that I'm going to not be able to rotate the arm fully back, but uh, I want it as best as possible. So the person will never see this top part of the arm because it's actually going to be embedded within the ball itself so a little bit. We want to be careful about pushing forward because that would be loss of rotation into the front. So this form and this form will hit is what I'm talking about. So we want to Try to compensate for that a little bit. And just be careful not to overthink it because half the time it doesn't show up in print anyway. <laughs> if, it, if these are too high res, yeah, they, they you would be surprised in how much detail you lose. But if you have a nicer printer, um, if they were high res, you wouldn't have to reduce it this low anyway. Okay, so I think I did it. That's about as blended as it's going to get. Alright, now that we have the two forms kind of blended together, and I'm just backing off and coming back every once in a while to see if the contrast is there. I don't want that there. Right here could do some polygon reduction to get rid of that. Better. Now what we do is have to cut the arm and put the pivot into it. So I'll do that in the next video.